you know, they gradually pick it up. And then we'll get them carving horse legs or something like that. Now, if I'm teaching carving, we teach people never to carve towards yourself. But any professional carver you watch spend 90% of the time carving towards themselves. And it's actually the safest way. Um, the trick is to, when you're, you know, your tools are razor sharp. You want to make it so that you've got a limited movement. Like, no matter what happens, this tool can't get me right now, pretty much. See, so you have an anchor, anchor your elbow or something like that. You can get an incredible amount of thrust behind your hand, but as long as it can't skate loose, if it breaks through the wood or something, you're pretty well safe. This sort of hourglass shape has complicated this tree compared to a lot of the easier wedge-shaped trees. On the wedge-shaped tree, all the grain's going one way. On this hourglass one, I gotta work a couple different directions. See where it sort of hung up there? That's because it started into the grain the other way. This is... Uh, this is gelutong, which comes from uh, like Indonesia or something. Not typically what we use, but it's super lightweight. So we used it on the uh, two carousels we did for Royal Caribbean. So on the ship, we had certain weight to flammability ratios within uh, areas of the ship so we actually had to do extra hollowing and so on on the inside of the how long have you been carving uh, my first carving let's see Probably about 34 years, something like that. And I think I started my first business carving in like 1982, something like that. Carving trout out in Montana. Jane and I had just been married a couple years, so probably about 30, 27, I don't know. I'm not good at math. That's why I'm a carver. <laughs> a long time. But I've done, you know, a lot of my business has just been specialty woodwork. So not always carving, but kind of with an emphasis on carving. Are you going a certain depth every time? Or? Mm, on something like this, nah. I'm just giving it an overall texture. And this tool is really kind of small for this job. What, what is that particular tool called? Um gouge wood carving gouge gouges they're they're generally numbered and they go by the sweep which is the radius of the curve so this is a number eight and uh like a this is like a number three so they go up incrementally to a number 11 is almost a u-shape a number nine is like a half of a circle. Um, then they go by the width, which most tools are in uh, millimeters. So this is probably like an 815 or something like that. How often do you have to sharpen them? It depends. Like doing carousel carving all day, if I'm using the same, say, three tools for most of the day, I will. we sharpen differently in an industrial setting because we're having to sharpen so much and fast. So it's not unusual to have to sharpen something or 
to at least buff the edge back out maybe three times a day and maybe sharpen it every four days or so but it really depends how much like here I hit that knot if you have a lot of knots then you're going to lose your edge quicker if you get a nick from a knot or from glue or something then um, you're going to have to sharpen that back out it'll leave a big streak in what you're doing I don't know why I picked up this little tool it's actually a bigger tool I could have surface this faster but the little tool gives it an interesting texture too even though a lot of this will get cut away in the next step is that one of the tools that you use most often you think beginning carvers would use most often what's that uh, that particular gouge um it wouldn't be a bad choice that size and again depending you want to gauge it around what you what you're wanting to carve and what scale you want to carve in. Um, like if I'm doing a class, I usually, I would probably have somebody start with like a, a number uh, 11, seven millimeters, which is like a quarter inch U-shaped gouge. Let's see which is that tool. So, say if I wanted to have a, a circle or something out here, these, these 11s are great for doing like an outline. Uh, some of the carvers use a V-shaped tool <coughs> for that but they're hard to sharpen and control. <coughs> you know, the basics of carving is, you know, outlining stuff and then bringing things down to your various levels. I mean, and then just rounding over you know, your, your layers. It's going to look odd out in the middle of a Christmas tree, but <laughs> just to kind of show you. So you're you're redoing the same outline in order to just get more depth. Yeah. yeah.